All right, I'm assuming that uh, if people ever do watch these videos, it's probably going to be players looking for some low-level play to see how it goes and maybe learn some tips and tricks. So and this is really targeting the audience of people who might be newer to the game. And, uh, you know, if people have been around a long time, it's probably going to be overly simplified. But I wanted to do one more video, kind of go through a few things. Uh, for me, managing the time reset was very confusing at first. So I'm going to go through some stuff, talk about managing your time reset and how to do that, how I think of it. Um, then we're going to talk about some more reasons to test the low-level gameplay, question mark. And then I'll do a little bit of the daily grind and uh, end the video there. So in terms of the reset time, it's not really clear how that all works from just looking at the menu, right? So at your reset time, that's when your daily quests refresh. 12 hours after that, you get three types of free energy. You get mod energy, uh, regular energy, and the cantina energy. And for me, when you're in the early game, you want to set your time so that you're always going to be able to collect these energy. It needs to be a time that you know you're always going to be able to grab them. Getting that extra energy makes, makes a pretty big difference. 18 hours later, you get energy and fleet energy. It's also your squad arena payout time, and that's important later. Uh, when you actually get higher up in the placements in squad arena, if you get up toward the top, you're going to want to pick a time when other people aren't pushing to get their payouts. So um, you may want to eventually sort out your time more around your squad arena payout but early game just energy collection is what i would say you need to focus on hour after that you get the fleet arena payout and then a total of 21 hours later you get your last bit of free energy um, then just be aware that these free energy objectives they do expire um, i'm not exactly sure how long i think i think you may have two hours to grab some of this stuff but Maybe it's one hour, so uh, I have it in my mind that I always want to grab them within one hour of the reset time. Uh, so it does give you a little bit of time to get in there and get them. But if you wait too long, it'll expire and you won't get that free energy uh, when you go in there. So with that in mind, my plan is to do a 5 p.m. reset. Uh, that means that 5 a.m. is when I get my free energy. When I get up in the morning, I'll be able to grab that energy first thing in the morning. Uh, I told everybody I like to use sim tickets early in the morning, so I'll grab that free energy, sim it out to zero, get my account reset so that it's generating energy on all the different types of energy, and then, uh, you know, go to work. 11 a.m. is the squad payout and free energy. Uh, you know, sometime before noon, I'll be able to grab a couple minutes, get in there, grab my free energy, um, not spend too much time, but, but just it, it works for me to be able to do that. Uh, fleet arena payout, squad arena payout, I don't care. I mean, we're just getting whatever we're getting at this low level. At 2 p.m., there's one last free energy. That's fine. We can grab that sometime. And then we have this reset at 5 o'clock p.m., and that means that by the time I get home in the evening, you know, have a meal with my family, uh, let my daughter tell me all the exciting stuff about her day, then, uh, you know, I'll have all those quests fresh to do in the evening. I like to do my... Uh, energy resets and quests and everything all at once and just be done with it so that the next day all I'm worried about is just refreshing energy. This does not affect the guild reset time, um, which will happen at the same no matter what you set your personal time to. So we're going to do that right now. So go over here, go to our time, time settings. I don't know why this says 10.30. Uh, it says 10.30, but it actually resets at, um, at 11, and, and my resets are on the hour, so it's pretty unusual, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick 4.30 p.m., and I think that's going to reset me at 5, which is what I want, and if it really is off by this half hour, I'm not too upset about that. I'll still be able to get my energy cycles and everything else in, so we're going to do that, and we're going to confirm Yep, we want to change the time. So now starting tomorrow, uh, well, maybe starting right now. Uh, so we'll see. If that resets all my stuff, I'll be kind of disappointed. But, uh, oh, well, you know, we'll find out what it does together. That boot up takes a while. So the next topic we're going to talk about um, uh, Galaxy Heroes made another announcement that they're uh, going to continue working on 
uh, not just the shards, but they may follow it up later with extra uh, shards on fleet stuff and extra gear. So it's going to be real interesting to see to see where they go from here. Okay, uh, let's see if our objectives reset. Daily activities? No, they didn't reset. But you see that this uh, the bonus energy time. Yeah, the bonus energy time is still set on my old time. So yeah. I, anyway, that'll work. We'll get that reset going for 4:30 um, here in the future. That's what works best for me. So we'll reset it, and whatever the game is going to do, we'll just you know accept it. Now, I did let this energy run all the way up to max. That's I, I really don't like to do that. I usually like to keep it down, but uh, I didn't have time to knock those down today, so we'll get to that here in a second. Um, we always want to buy these four. I can't wait. Can't wait to buy them. Uh, let's look in the guild store as well. These are these are good. For 150 they're a really good deal. Uh, we want to buy these. Um if we go to the character, you'll see here uh, that material contains a whole bunch of stuff that we would have to farm up. So buying those as a full item out of the shop there, out of the uh, guild store, r really for five of those, that saves us a lot of farming. So when I said, you know, you want to watch that shop for excellent gear, uh, that's an example of something that's really worth spending your, your guild currency on. Okay, we're going to come back to this in a minute. So let's talk a little bit about more of these changes, right? They announced that after the double, double drop for shards go live, they're going to consider similar changes for ships and gear. Now, on, on one hand, that's nice, right? Because we're going to be testing an early game account. We're going to be trying to collect these shards. We're going to be trying to collect the gear. And any changes that they make that help us, we're going to get to experience firsthand you know, how that's uh, working in the game. So it's kind of fun. We're going to get to see all that at once. Now, the downside of this is it's also going to accelerate uh, people with the hyperdrive bundle or people who are dropping a lot of money on the game. They're already going to be grinding at a more advanced level. So mathematically, it becomes this win more situation where, um, you know, we were hoping to catch up with those kinds of people when they were stuck in that gear 11, gear 12 grind. Um, but now they're going to be able to get through that more easily and it'll be a little longer before we catch up. Now, I've got good news for you. Grand Arena sorts by galactic power. So it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't care. You know, <laughs> you know, let the guys that are getting ahead get ahead. Let the guys that are spending money spend their money. Let let everybody have fun in this game in their own way, and, and that's fine. What we're doing, uh, we're going to focus on whatever our galactic power is. We're matching ourselves up against other people with similar galactic power to see if we have a better plan. That's <laughs> that's the whole strategy of this. So, um, you know, if we look at the... Uh, the shard, there's already six Revens at Relic level on this shard, right? And, and they're going to have ships to match. So we can't afford to beat these people in the arena. That's not the plan. And if you're new to the game and you look at this and you think, oh, man, how am I ever going to be number one in the arena? You're not. You, you know, when you get your first Galactic Legend, then you can, uh, you know, apply to be first in, in arena when it's your turn and your payout, right? So, like, like this is, uh, yeah, you're, you're not dreaming about being first in the shard. And the point of this uh, method that we're using is to test our account against Grand Arena with similar GPs. That's our, our yardstick for success, right? And that's what we're going to do. So, uh, you know, let's go over here and take a look at this squad arena stuff, right? So let's look at the ranks. You know, Relic 7, Revens, Relic 3, Revens, Relic 7, Darth Revan. Uh, yeah, Padmes, Revens, uh, Palpatines. Uh, Padmes and Revens that are coming up that already have Zetas on them. Uh, yeah, so uh, you think you're going to catch up with the? You're not going to catch up with this. <laughs> that's uh, that's silly. Um, again, and, and if you want to do this, that's fine. You know, do your thing. Enjoy the game uh, like you like to enjoy the game. And this guy right here, you know, he's having fun. He, he dropped a bundle of money, most likely. I don't know of any other way to get this far on a on a shard that's not that old. But, uh, you know, hey, you know, he's number one. That's, that's fun for him. Uh, uh, we don't have enough money for that to be fun for us. <laughs> so we're not going to pretend that we're going to do that. So we grab the free stuff. Just to show you what I did today, um, I said that, you know, Darth Vader had this gear that I could sim. So that's exactly what I did. I just went in there today 
and when I got my energy, I simmed it, got Darth Vader up a level, uh, put some more gear pieces on him, and um, you know we're looking at those gear pieces. Now, before we start spending our energy, remember today, we're going to go to the objectives, we're going to go to guild activities, we're going to look, we're going to see what that is. Today, it's spend energy in light side battles. So if we spend on energy refreshes, we're going to want to spend them on regular energy. We're going to do those refreshes on light side battles, right? And we're not nearly as far in the light side battles as we are in the dark side battles, so we may have to pick and choose uh, what it is that we're going to farm. And that's just because our dark side characters are being developed faster than our light side characters at the moment. Um, so if we go in here and we look at the light side, you know, we, we've got some decent gear. This, this is good. We could, we could farm these Mark III's. Um, what else do we have? Uh, hard side is locked here. We, maybe we have some hard side nodes that we could do as well. So, nope, not unlocked. All right, so we'll have to select. I think we need this, right? We need this for a couple of different characters. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm, just to make this super simple, I'm going to drop three refreshes into energy. Oh, that's all my three. Okay, then we're going to farm our Dooku shards because we said the hard nodes that we're farming are Dooku. So let's go in there. Oh, we already grabbed them for today. How do you like that? We're done with that. So we really are just going to go back to this light side node. And we're going to look for that computer. Where was that? Here it is. Okay, and we're just gonna wait, you know, just just rock and roll all the energy. There it goes. We're farming gear, that's what we're doing. Um, and now, how many of these do we have? You own 20. So, 20 should be enough to, to level up one of those characters, cost us a lot of money. But uh, now, if we go to these objectives, yeah, we're, we're at the top of the list. And maybe we won't stay that way, you know, maybe by the end of the day, you know, somebody else will pass us up and, and get more coins than we will. But, uh, but yeah, so that, that's, that, that's how you try to take advantage of these little sub-quests here. And uh, it's not much. I mean, for this particular one, I don't know, maybe we'll get like 37 guild currency or something like that. But it's for free. It's stuff that we would have had to farm anyway, so there, there's no reason not to go ahead and do it. Um, for the mod challenges, uh, my characters haven't gotten any bigger or better uh, in the last day, so we're just going to you know, sim that out, grab our stuff, you know, get some more four dot mods, most of which we're going to sell. Same thing with Cantina. Uh, we're at 43 sim tickets, so I'm going to wait and I'm going to do those manually after the video. Uh, Galactic War. Uh, if you want to see some gameplay there, we could play one quick game on that. Um, we'll put in uh, Pago the Lesser. So the idea here, again, you know, just, just get through this. Use your best abilities first to get these guys off the board as soon as you can. And then once you've got control of the board, save your cooldowns for the next round. So we're good here. I'm not even going to use big cooldowns. We'll use Darth Vader's. Then he can use that to reset his cooldowns. And with that... He's ready to go for the next round already. Um, then we just finish these guys off. So use the resources that are smart to use at the beginning of the battle. You know, just, just take it out easy and, and progress as far as you can. Now, I think I've completed this whole thing maybe four or five times. Usually somewhere up here you run into a, a, a Phoenix team. In early game, you know, we just don't have enough uh, punch to get through that. Don't worry if you can't make it through your Galactic War. Uh, as long as you keep focusing the same characters at first, don't don't go crazy and try to get 15 different characters. Just you know, build up like 10, 15 at the most uh, characters that are good, and pretty soon um, you'll be able to to make your way through here. And by the time that you get to 85, you should be winning all of these every day, and uh, you know, pretty quickly work yourself into this multi sim. Um, you have to be level 85 and do 50 complete clears 
Um, and as you can see, I've done five completions so far. So you know, I don't get them every day. Uh, some days I get them, some days I don't, and that's okay. Uh, squad arena, we got pushed back below a thousand again. You could see that you know a lot of people are moving up here. You could do this refresh button and try to get something that looks more your speed, right? So you know this twenty six thousand looks our speed in arena. Uh, we're going to take the act bar in. He's got the a Darth Vader and a Boba Fett here, so we're going to take in this act bar. Um, j just for that ability to clear off the buffs early, um, and we got a pretty good chance here. So let's let's do our skill on them. We'll hit them with Darth Vader. These guys do AOE or the um, debuffs, so we're, we want to leave them up. We let's stun fives, and let's just see if we can hit Ezra here pretty hard. Let them build up all these deep. Oh man, they got ability block on him, so this isn't uh, isn't going to work this round. Let's pump him up and swing at fives. Shoot people. And uh, my Akbar is real slow, so he's going to uh, he's going to take his time about removing those debuffs. Uh, let's do the basic on him. Try to put on a few more damage over time. Just didn't get any. All right. Uh, so by the time we get around to Akbar, it's not even going to be useful for him to do his his skill. Um, let's see if we can make Kylo Ren last long enough. I'll show you this skill, Tactical Genius, and how that works. All right, so Boba Fett's going crazy over there. Uh, you see why we like Boba Fett, right? All right, and we'll do a basic. Now, we still got Akbar's ability up, and then hopefully Kylo Ren's going to get to go. He's ability block. Dang it! So if we could use his third skill, th this uh, ability from Akbar gives him an extra turn, so you can use it to heal up and then immediately use your skill to uh, to get your taunt back. Um, but that ability block really, you know, caused us some problems. Um, still not in a good position with Akbar. Now he's dead, so not going well for us. Get another one with Vader. If we can keep this Kylo Ren alive, we might have a chance. So this guy, he uh, he does some stuff. Wow, Boba Fett got his uh, ability off. I guess he killed the guy who went first, right? So we'll stun him up. Let's we'll see if we can get rid of this counselor. And then we got to kill Boba Fett twice without him killing any of our guys, which is... Uh, be interesting. All right, let's get a little more life back. All right, uh, keep doing the debuffs, doing that, attacking him. All right, actually, that's good for us because he killed that uh, weak Geo. So now, once we kill him, uh, it's a pretty good chance that we're going to be able to finish him off before he finishes off one of us. So, we'll try to ability block him. Get some life back. Uh, put some damage over times on him. Nope, nothing. Okay, tenacity down. Throw a lightsaber at him. So there we go. We managed to pull that one out. Thank goodness he killed that Geo, or he might have uh, gotten another life on that Boba Fett and really caused some problems for us. So that's how you pick your way through the early uh, squad arenas. You just got to you know be familiar with the abilities on the characters that you're using to the best you can and if you win that's great if you don't learn something learn learn something for the next time all right we're going to close the video out here we changed the time we talked about some stuff now the daily grind is probably going to get real boring real fast because at, at an account at level 58 there's just not much progress so i'm probably going to wait uh, at least a few days before i do another video and uh we'll keep going Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if anybody's watching this. Uh, talk to you later.